G'day! In today's video, I'm having a bit of a rant and a bit of a rave regarding the Intel Atom Z8300 or Z5-8300. This particular one here has one. This little median Akoya, which is a rather small netbook, touchscreen, fairly small, fairly old. The particular Atom in this one came out in 2015, and I'm not sure when this actual median was made, but it is rather bizarre. This particular Intel Atom is a 4-core... 2 watt processor running at around 1.4 gigahertz, 2 gig of RAM, 32 gig of storage, and strangely, it comes out Windows 10, or you can get Windows 10 for it. One of my raves that I've got for it is out of all the various brands that I've seen, Acer, Asus, Median's the only one that seemed to have all their drivers for this particular chip available on their website in a small, easy to grab package. So definitely thumbs up for Median for that. We'll point out the obvious flaw of my food on my shoulder here. My son was dribbling on me earlier today and so it turns out he left his breakfast there. Anyway, this particular one, four cores. Four cores in 2015. I'm still seeing dual core Celeron processors almost getting released today that are they're dual cores. This thing has two watts of power getting used by the processor. Granted, I'm pretty sure with these ones, the actual chipset utilizes about 15 to 20 watts, so it kind of gets handed over that way, the overall system usage. But anyway, this thing runs on a 12 volt, two amp charger. And another weird thing I found with the Atoms at the particular time in 2015 was, these were also getting used in Android tablets. So you'd see some Android tablets come out, granted they'd probably never get any form of software updates, but they were running an Atom chip in them, which was very weird at the time, considering it was an Intel x86 chip running Android, which is still kind of bizarre even now, which it's slowly becoming more and more common. There's definitely third-party uh, projects out there where they've been able to get Android running on x86 hardware natively, and that's, that's pretty cool. I'm all for that. But yeah, just thumbs up to Median for actually releasing the drivers. Typically, it's something that takes usually about half an hour to 45 minutes of digging through driver websites to be able to get all the right files on there. And Medium has had a small, easy to use package. Granted, I'll probably try a couple of games on there just for the lols, see how it goes. Being it's four cores, two gig of RAM, 32 gig of storage, probably have, well, we'll have to use an, either an external hard drive, it does support USB 3, which is quite surprising considering the small package. And let's toss some games on there and see what happens. Granted, I'm not going to expect anything amazing. Anyway, that's just my little story about the Atom Z5 8300. Bye.